All right, so I want to have access to opening this up so I can, you know, get at these batteries. I mean, obviously, I don't, I don't really have to do that, you know. And the way I figured I'm, you know, I don't have to do that because this isn't, the, you know, this could be like a prototype or this can just be you being bored and you want to make something. But I do still kind of just want to have access to that. So I figured I'm just going to drill out these holes, this particular, this hole probably, and this hole a little bit bigger, and add some screws. So and I just find this to be, these screws are kind of, and this is going to be a, this is going to be a delicate procedure, I'd imagine. Going to, let's just do it straight up. I don't have to follow any guidelines, I guess. Let's do it like uh, this will work. Make sure you don't hit them wires. That's not too safe. Totally intentional. That's how I do it. Actually, just going to put you in there for support for a second. much okay did I have another screw I should have had yes That's good. And this switch seems to be doing all right. So now, oh, I wanted to put that on the back end. But whatever. And now, you know, we have a little flashlight and a little switch down here. I mean, obviously, absolutely, it's just horrible. It looks horrible. Uh, <laughs> but we now have kind of made this kind of rink and dake flashlight and we could use this as future designs for something that we'd want to do. Uh, obviously I, I, I did my best to try and be, you know, safe as possible. You know, I've been working with razor blades most of my life. You know, obviously you want to take probably better precautions than I did, but there we go. We got a little, on and off flashlight now from a wine poster. Yay!